ya, ya uchi wako kuwekwa waziwazi without your consent. You don't know the pain somebody can go through and you don't know how somebody becomes helpless and there's nothing you can do about it. Because uchi wako tayari iko inje with millions of people and you cannot take it back and you cannot turn back the hand of time. You only regret about it and you have to move on. Yeah? In worst cases, kuna watu jiua. So ninge end up dead. Kuna wale badu, kuna wale watu, there are people who could have still celebrated and said good riddance. She's gone. Seriously. Kenyans. I take this opportunity. I want to talk to Ida Odinga directly. I'm addressing Dr. Ida Odinga. So Mama Ida, I've not met you. I've only met so far your husband, Baba Raila Odinga. I am a TikToker. I am a famous TikToker. A Kenyan TikToker who lives in Germany. Maybe you have not heard about my story, but maybe one day I'm going to meet you and sit with you on the same table. I will request you with your title, with all dignity, to continue protecting girl child. Men are targeting women and women are being mistreated out here and things are being done to women without their consent. And it is okay. Nobody is waking up and saying, no, this is not right. So Mama Odinga, rise to the occasion. What, what happened to me, the tragedy that happened to me last week on social media should be condemned by everybody. What happened to me should be condemned by all Kenyans. The same Kenyans are coming at me with stones and stoning me. And the same men who should be standing up with me and protecting me are laughing about it. And even addressing it in front of Dr. Ida Odinga. Dr. Ezekiel is the head of entertainment industry. Protocol was not observed. Maybe he, has, he saw the video too. These are the people who should have stood up for me and said, no. I'm going to take care of Big Dad's ass somehow. It is a matter of time. Time heals. The fact that I make fun of that shit doesn't mean that I'm happy about it. So my request is, may what happened to me, me being recorded without my knowledge and my video of my private part being posted on all social media without my knowledge, without my consent, may this not happen to any woman out there because you don't know how it feels until it happens to you. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how disgusting it is. Which woman wants to show a private part to every, every Tom, Dick and Harry out there? Which woman? Where is our dignity? I'm gonna take care of Big Daddy's ass. I will not talk about it but I will take care of that guy. Na wale wa Kenya wana nikashifu, wakiongea juu ya kinembe yangu. That kinembe was not meant for the whole world. That mute video is muted because the man is obviously guilty. 
If you look at that video well, you will see I was being directed what to do and how to do it. I was I was like a child being told sweet ndio hii chukua ukule. My mistake was to do the things I was being told to do. That was my mistake. I had no business in doing what I did. I don't justify. I am not proud of myself. There is nothing funny about that video to smile about. So Obina respect women. You don't even respect the mothers of your children. So who am I to uh, you who am I to be respected by Obina? These are the kind of men who misuse women in the dark and in the day they will dine and party with them like nothing happened. Obina Nikome, unijui, ananyalo yanyi. I don't care about your status in Kenya. Ananyalo yanyi, mariwi gijo, gijo dala u, yote. Nikome, unijui. Nikome, you don't know me. Izo events unaenda unalipu a few change. Usi, don't try me. Ebu fungua interview ni address tena. Lundmeru. Meeting Imeisha.